So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? I knew that whatever happened, I had to get the others to safety. But lots of people talk about nobility and selflessness, generally in the same stories that have magic beans. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. You're in luck. I'm always willing to talk about myself to beautiful women. My family came from Orzammar, Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. What are the Deep Roads like? Well, I could tell you the standard tales. Legions of Darkspawn, ravenous beasts, cave-ins. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the Deep Roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great! Now we're adventurous! Maker, I weep. Whoever was telling the story. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. What's a Shemlin? An elven slur for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. I'm pretty sure I've seen elves around who weren't Dalish. 
They have given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They are elven no more. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait. This is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari? I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams, I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Danish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people, and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child, made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. If that's what you want. It isn't what I want, but it is what she wants. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shira. This mountain is cursed, I swear. Three days in a row, I've shot at. Maybe it's not the mountain. Maybe it's just you that's I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... Or was... I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. 
I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Not you. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I've lived in Kirkwall for a year now. It's a good place to get a fresh start. Really? I hope you're right. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet. And we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No. Not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Belenar wind up in little pieces, hanging from the trees. Let's get this over with. Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own keeper. Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. And no one minds having to pick up and move over and over just to protect a few of you. Why would they mind? Once we've picked over a hunting ground, there's no reason to stay. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know. But if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. 
A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh! Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. The Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. So, this is awkward. Anyone else think this is awkward? How about we move along? I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience.
I can open the way forward. One moment. It was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? The barrier is gone, certainly. Surely there was a safer way. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathon, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. in the right. Ahare na malana sale. Emma ira au bela serviranan. Isalahamin vinan him dofilas. In usenera Narivas. Ah, and here we are. Friend of yours? You speak the word as if it is cheap coin meant for spending. You don't know me. Huh. I know your type. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet, though you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed. You smuggled me here quite nicely. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? 
must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole, a bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. A fragment? You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. An even trade, I think. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. What should I do? Do as I do. Become a dragon. <laughs> you could never be a dragon. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabellana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks. And my sympathy. Masarana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Darath Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? Um... That tree's not terrible. Oh, it's not so bad. It doesn't even smell like bilge water. I didn't think it would be so... So... I've never seen so many people in one place before. Seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I'd like that, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though.
Good to see you again. Will I see you at the tavern later? Not today. My sisters had me decorating the Vena doll. <laughs>